Hey everybody, video number 33. That's 3-3. Three, three. See, I'm finding I would use my fingers even past 10, and I love it. I wanted to talk today about some entertainment. About a week ago, I posted a video actually. It was very influential. Um, it was the very vague video where someone said something to me, and it made an impact on me. This person had a certain annoyance, distaste for actors. I uh, was talking to someone I had just met and telling her what I did and do for a living, for, for work, for a passion. I started off with my Reiki and energy healing business and my nutrition coaching business. For some reason, I felt it was necessary to say I'm also an actor. I went to school for acting. I've been acting for the past uh, 13 years of my life. And it's not as much of a priority now. I still love it. It's still an important part of me. But it is not the single focus that is guiding me now. It's brought me to these new places that I'm exploring fully and absolutely loving being of service, helping people, specifically with the nutrition coaching, with the Reiki, with the life coaching. And I'm excited to build that up. And my foundation as an actor has helped me immensely, made me who I am today. And I know I will act in many projects, whether it is more for a paying work role or whether it's just a short thing here and another thing there, or something that I will be creating as I know there is very much to create so this woman had this negative reaction to it. Uh, the first two are more than enough. You didn't need that. Something along the lines of that. But it was a little more biting. And that's what led me to a certain revelation of my focus. All that said, I have nothing against actors or acting as a whole. I think it is an incredibly valuable profession, pursuit, career, life goal, passion. I mean, think about it. I'm doing a video right here and you're watching this. Before this world of video came up where anyone could just make a video and do whatever they want, I mean, it started off with movies and television. That's what we were, that's what everyone would watch. And now it's this world of YouTube. I could create my own little thing here. I'd create my own little TV show for you if I wanted to. And in a sense, this is, that's what it is. It's a 90 day video challenge TV show starring me, Steve, and occasionally my co-star Lindsay will pop up. Same thing with Rini, Vicky, Guster, and Jumper, my cats. Plus maybe some other special guests, we'll see. I grew up watching television and movies. My dad has an entire VHS and Betamax video collection at home still, both with a working VHS and a beta player, along with a DVD player too and on demand. There's so many ways to watch the things now. I just watched the uh, episode 10, which is the second episode in the second half of eight of Breaking Bad in this final season. I'm not going to give any spoilers. You can keep watching. I would never do that. But I rewatched it with Lindsay. I watched it uh, a, a few days ago and Lindsay missed it, so we caught up together. I caught up with her. Um, sorry that I'm so itchy. It's hot in here caught up with her tonight, and it was just so wonderful. I'd already seen it, and I was able to immerse myself into this world with her for the first time experiencing it, which is great. I love experiencing a first time, uh, someone watching a movie or an influential show for the very first time, and you've already seen it, you know, you know what's gonna happen. Oh, this part's coming up. Oh, look at them. And I realized that Entertainment is so much. It brings a sense of joy to our lives. It brings a sense of escape to our lives, which I'm going to talk about in a second. We can see ourselves and relate to certain characters. Sometimes it can provide a mirror back to us that helps. Aha! Ding! That's an idea. Hmm. Am I like that? I never thought I was like that. I'm like that. Oh, that gives me an idea. Just for just pure entertainment, working long hours, 
doing a lot of wonderful things in your life, and you just want to kick back and enjoy someone else's world. It's a fantastic world. We do the same thing in books, too. In narratives and fiction books. Really good ones. You just get through the pages and you're immersed. You forget about your stresses, you forget about your worries. Hopefully you don't forget about your actual work, or the baby, or feeding the dog. <laughs> All these positive things I, I, I see, and that's my relationship to this form of entertainment, TV, and movies. Now I said it's a form of escapism also, and that's a question I have for you. I'm finding more and more people are not watching television, and they're avoiding movies. A, you can save a lot of money by not having cable, by not going out to the movie theater. Lindsay and I do Netflix and Hulu Plus, which is a lot cheaper than whatever cable package it would be. And we go to the movies occasionally with someone who ate, and we have friends who download things and record things, and so sometimes we have the chance to catch some of them. But a lot of people are abstaining from it now. And when done properly, because it's not a necessity, you can get a lot more done. It doesn't become a distraction. It doesn't detract from the forefront of the priorities that should be in your life. Because it very, it very easily can be. A click, and it's on. And you can watch for hours and hours and hours. Even online, you can watch videos for hours and hours and hours. I mean, if you honestly ask yourself, how has your productivity been negatively affected by watching videos, either online or watching TV uh, shows or watching movies? I've known people who their schedule, their Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday, whatever, however you, you start, you know, you want to say it for the week, has been dictated by, well, what's on tonight? What's the lineup? We can't do it. Desperate Housewives is on. Sorry. Can you say it's good or bad? I think it's a much deeper question than that. I don't think you can say it's good. I don't think you can say it's bad. It's a very gray area. It just is. It just is as is life. It's how you utilize it that can be either of benefit or detriment to you. This is going really deep. And maybe it's just because I'm so sad that Breaking Bad is ending that I just want to talk about it and TV and such. But I'm interested to hear your take. Are you a TV watcher? Are you a movie watcher? Do you do these things in your spare time? Do they take over in other times? What would your life be like without it? What would you fill it with? And for fun, what are some of your favorite shows of all time? <laughs> I've gone through a lot of different series. We could rattle off movies forever, but since we started off with TV, Seinfeld, I'm a big Seinfeld fan. That was just one of my huge connections in middle school and high school. And The Sopranos, 24, Lost. I was a big Dexter fan for a while. Breaking Bad now. And, I mean, I, I end up watching a lot. Luckily, I have the ability to do so. And hopefully, I'm not using it as a major distraction. I seem to be getting a lot done, so I'm going to trust that. Sons of Anarchy, House of Cards, Orange is the New Black, The United States of Tara. I could go on for a while, but I'll stop for now. I'd love to hear your answers to these questions. It's good to do a really long video and just riff with you. I hope you've enjoyed my television show, commercial free, all the time. So please tune in every day at whenever I post, and I appreciate your support. I'll be checking the Nielsen ratings very soon. Please, I'd love for another 90 day video challenge season, starring yours truly and maybe an Emmy, or two. Video number 33. Bye.